Hi, and welcome to a very unusual video, considering my usual output of content. It's also something which I totally shouldn't have done because, well, I'm already not finishing any of my series and starting something new at the moment is super impractical. But to be honest, I couldn't stop myself from doing this, so yeah, this is happening. I am building a skyscraper in Planet Coaster, and it is going to be a blueprint. And I am doing a commentary over this time-lapse, just like any of my other content would be. Except the content at hand, I guess, is very different from what I'm usually doing. In any case, I hope you'll be able to enjoy this regardless. And hopefully, I'll actually be able to turn this into a thing that's also going to be somewhat successful. So without further ado, let's get into the time-lapse. So a little bit of background, because this isn't coming out of the blue completely. So I want to introduce this a little bit more. Basically, I used to do this sort of thing quite a bit in Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, and I'm also kind of drawing some of the techniques from this. So for instance, I am just going to make one floor right now, and I'm using the pistol guy as a way to get the scale right. So it is also going to be on scale. And once this floor is done, I'll basically be copying this over and over again to build the tower itself, and then afterwards, uh, bring in all the unique elements, like maybe some slight differences between the floors, uh, making a roof, and also making a foundation for the tower itself. So, this is something which I've really been drawing from Lollacoast Tycoon 3, in the ways that I've not only done this sort of skyscraper building more in Lollacoast Tycoon 3, but I'm also using a sort of similar technique in that sense. And so, even though this has been barely done in Planet Coaster, to my knowledge, I think I've seen a few people try this, but even most of the times when it's done, it's kind of in a, in a theme park context as well. But in this case, it's really just the building itself. Uh, it's not even pretending to be a hotel for a theme park or anything. It's just going to be a residential skyscraper meant for any city or so. I definitely want to introduce the details of it a little bit more. But um, because of that whole Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 background, I've really just been wanting to try and build a sky skyscraper in Planet Coaster at some point. And some of the things which have just been holding me back is the fact that I don't have much experience with it in this game. And we're really lacking some glass pieces. And this is really one of the reasons why actually I've been asking so much about glass pieces. Because I've always wanted to try something like this. I just never figured I could or should because there's no glass in the game. And at this point, I've just lost all of my fucks to give about the facts and decided to try it anyway. So, that's also why we're kind of here. And my whole interest with this in general is also not completely out of the blue. I lurk a lot on Skyscraper City and, um, like, I like skyscrapers in general. Or even modern architecture in general. It's just something which doesn't really come out of my channel as much, I think, because theme parks tend to be more about architecture revivalism and try to hark back to some older styles, but I can honestly appreciate modern architecture just as much as I can, um, or I should say contemporary architecture, to be technically correct. I can appreciate contemporary architecture just as much as old architecture, so honestly, it's, uh, it's a bit of an interest of mine that's never been explored as much in my Planet Coaster content, and that I want to bring out a little bit more right now. Now, specifically, the architecture of this building is inspired by Rotterdam, and more specifically the Dutch post 2000s uh, skyscraper architecture, which is a lot of the buildings, a lot of the taller buildings that you're seeing pop up in the Netherlands right now, because traditionally, until the end of the last century, the Netherlands hasn't really been about building high whatsoever, and there were maybe just a few kind of high rise buildings, but especially recently, a lot more high-rise buildings have been appearing in Amsterdam and Rotterdam, and since I like to follow these developments, I suppose it's a style that I've been influenced by quite a lot, and I want to try and emulate a little bit in Planet Coaster. It's also something which I think works out quite well given the limitations of Planet Coaster, because obviously I need to find a way to make something that kinda looks like glass, even though there's no actual glass in the game. So I just took a blue-ish color, and, god, I make it sound really simple, but looking for the perfect shade of blue to make believable glass was one of the most time-consuming things that you didn't see in this time-lapse, but, god, that was a struggle. But, um, yeah, I think this architecture 
style works out quite well because it makes it a little bit more easy to hide that glass. Obviously, it would be really difficult to build glass-based condo towers like Toronto or Vancouver where it becomes really obvious that there's no good glass texture. Uh, the same goes for a lot of the more modern glass towers like say the Freedom Tower in New York or all of that boxy glassy office architecture, maybe even some of the stuff that you see in the city of London, since you need a good glass texture in order to build a good glass building. But this kind of building can look modern and appealing, I think, while at the same time not depending so much on glass and actually taking a lot of influence from the look of the prefab brick cladding, which I'm using on this building. So I think overall it's just a style which I know a lot about and which is pretty doable in Planet Coaster. So that's why I decided to build this sort of building. And at this point I've barely talked about the building itself and my building process because things have just been going way too fast as life sort of goes with the time lapse I suppose. But at this point I'm also adding some of this greenery because that obviously just does make a building look better. I think I've said this before in the past, but it's it's probably very relevant to say that in this video too. A lot of architects, when they make their renders of buildings that are going to be added to cities, they tend to add a lot of greenery because that just makes everything look a tiny bit better. So here I am just pretending that realistically people will put palm trees and lots of bushes on their balconies, which is just going to make the building look better in hindsight. But we'll get back to that later. I think the, the placement of those planters is going to happen later. At this point I was just looking at my tower and thinking, mm, it's a little bit too predictable, I want to add some sort of element that's off on the back. Not to mention that there were windows all around the building, and I kind of wanted to avoid doing that because there has to be a space where people's bathrooms are going to be. And so I figured, eh, kind of over here might be a good space to have not that many windows and just one li little sliver to let the light through. And also an element that kind of sticks out from the rest of the building and makes this side look a little bit more unique as well. So there we go. Just a little element that adds a bit of detail and more interesting shape into the rest of the building. Oh, okay, by the way, I need to talk about one of my main inspirations for this building because I didn't base this building on any building in particular. It's just sort of got influences from all around the place. But my major inspiration here was a building called the Scheepsmakerstore. Actually, no, it's just Scheepsmakerstore in Rotterdam, which is kind of similar in look. It's not very similar, but sort of. But mostly in that it's a very slender, tall residential building with luxury apartments. So this would ideally be the same, maybe two apartments per floor. And so it's a very slender, narrow building that's really built in this kind of way to provide all of the people living in it with a good view of the city and a, a sort of floor in which you have windows and views all around, which is something that if you have the money to pay for this kind of thing, I'm pretty sure you would enjoy quite a bit. So that is really the main inspiration for this building, but there's no building that this is particularly modeled after. Maybe there are some similarities to some existing buildings on accident, but it's basically my own little design. Now moving to one of the things which is gonna stick out a little bit, because I honestly always struggle with this kind of thing. I wanted to design a unique base for the building. In Dutch there's this word called plint, which basically refers to the bottom part of a building that kind of connects it to street level. And I've asked uh, Cherenable about this from the City Skylines community and um, I think we've both come to the conclusion that for some reason there's not an English translation of this word. So I am not entirely sure how to refer to this in a good English way. If anybody knows a word that perfectly refers to the bottom floors of a skyscraper that have a different design from the rest of the skyscraper and are made in a way to have some sort of public facilities or connection to street level at the bottom of the tower. If, if anybody knows a word in English for this, I would be super happy to know this. But until that day, I honestly don't know exactly how to refer to this, so I'm just gonna call this the base of the tower. But as you can see, the bottom floors have a slightly different design. It should be about 
three floors, even though this possibly looks like just one, with the third floor not really having much in it. I'm not exactly sure what it would be used for, maybe an office or so. And the bottom floor could be used for either a store or just an entrance lobby. Whatever it is, something that opens up the street level a little bit more and um, yeah, makes it a little bit more of a pleasant building to look at from the ground. And I know I said I struggle with these kinds of things because I always find it different. I always find it difficult to build a bottom for a tower that has a different design from the rest of the tower but still fits in the same overall look and philosophy while also being different at the same time. So it's it's kind of it's kind of difficult to find the right balance between different enough and having different elements while at the same time having same characteristics come up that make clear that it fits with the rest of the building. So, for instance, one of the things which I try to do is get these vertical black pillars back on the glass at the bottom of the tower and make that a, a sort of design thing that comes from the rest of the building and is the same at the base as it is with the rest of the tower. Um, while at the same time adding this kind of different element with the two horizontal white big... Uh, uh, yeah, the two horizontal big white stripes that create this sort of element that looks toward the same direction as the little triangular roof part looks toward to get a slightly different sort of design element at the bottom of the tower. I'm not entirely sure how much I like it. I'm quite happy with it, but maybe it's a little bit too different from the rest of the building. But overall, I think it's a pretty good pedestal for the rest of the tower. And something which looks a little bit better on ground level than just copying the rest of the tower over until the ground. So yeah, that's basically it for the building. It's a relatively short video since I'm just working on one building and one blueprint, but in the end, I am honestly pretty happy with how it manages to look. I think it's a little bit better than my expectations even. You can definitely tell that the glass is really fake and really not real glass whatsoever. Still wish that that was added into the game. Although, I do understand that there are some performance issues with that. I honestly would not be able to give a crap whatsoever about that because I just want to have glass. But um, even still, I think it came out as a pretty realistic looking residential building that despite some of the limitations in the game, I would possibly see in real life. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this overall. I definitely want to try more of these types of builds and let me know if you're interested in this whatsoever, if there's somehow even any crossover between the Planet Coaster community and the more wide city slash urban uh, interest community. But um, yeah, that's been it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next skyscraper build.